Good morning. It's Saturday at European Championship FFJ and we are waiting for third flight of junior fly-offs. As you can see there's barely any wind about one to two meters per second. It's 10 a.m. and thermals are just starting to cook. So there are, there's now a group of birds down there in the distance. Two or three of them. Not sure if you can see them. That's all that these juniors have to indicate a thermal right now. So at the moment it's completely still air where I'm standing and the flags are still kind of moving there over the camp. So it could be a good sign. Let's see how they read this air. One minute and ten seconds to go. I see nothing else really that would help me decide on where to launch. There's one bird overflying the corridor and just passing straight on. Not interested in any thermal or anything. So that can be ignored. Seconds to start. Mm, nothing else. Okay, now the wind is picking up again around my feet. 20 seconds to start. So it could be that a uh, weak thermal just passed us. Which would indicate a quick turn back downwind and then finding that over the camp maybe. So now the flags are still over the camp and on the other side of the camp is there's still some activity there. So low power, low height of course. So yesterday was the two rounds where the differences were made. And I guess now it's just routine flying of 15 minutes. So we have a group of four down low over the camp and the other two are a bit further out to the, but out in the field but higher up. Interesting choice. So <clears throat> looks like there were two ways to read this air. Let's focus on this group here. Splitting in two, so two guys more over the camp, two guys out in the field, so down the one in the middle, and the lowest one is can't decide whether to go over the camp or stay out in the over the grass. getting uncomfortably low. Not sure if you'll be able to make it. Mm, 
No, he's giving up. The other three are kind of okay. What are the other two doing? One is soloing out over the field and the one is further upwind. And they're both fine. No issues. Solo flying that's relaxing, being in good air. No obstacles around. That's a relaxing flight, yeah. But over here, these guys over the camp, that's a bit more work. And a bit more, like, say, let's say, high value property underneath. So you don't want to have any crash or anything. And you want to climb out, definitely. But it looks to be a routine flight. They are now climbing out nicely. And even the, so there's one guy out in the field, where's the other one? I don't know. Despite a plane taking off. Okay. It was maybe a bit adventurous. And the other guy is speaking here. Also pretty confident in the air here. So that plane took off directly over their air, so let's see if that disturbs the thermals in any way. So now this guy is coming back, interesting. Uh, but I think it's good air all the way. Yeah, you can easily start circling here. Another plane getting ready for takeoff here. Maybe in the other direction, which is going to be interesting again. Because the other guy is over there. Let's see where exactly. actually
I'm not sure if I can find him. Uh, he's a bit off the runway axis, I think. And the plane will pass underneath. Uh, okay. No drama. So the other tree over the camp also climbed out nicely. And now pretty high as well. And now actually the lowest one is the guy here. It went upwind on a leisure flight. Six and a half minutes to go, 6.20 and still this, I think this is more than enough in this weather. There aren't yet strong thermals which means there aren't yet any strong sinks. Uh, should work out. Five minutes remaining. Five minutes to go, where is he now? Focus move and mate again. Oh, here, okay. And now he needs to work a bit to gain that last few minutes. Camp is working nicely. All the metal cars heating up. No problem. 
Two minutes, 40 seconds to go. So now the rest of the flock is coming back home. Two minutes remaining. Two minutes to go and all that remains are the landings. They now have enough height and energy and practically no wind. So it should be routine again. So I find it interesting to see how people plan and execute their landings here. So what I try to do is something resembling a traffic pattern that you fly around an airfield. So I try to be overhead one minute before landing and then fly 30 minutes down, 30 seconds downwind and then 30 seconds back to the landing point. That's my strategy. One minute remaining. But here, one minute remaining and planes are just about everywhere. Some still high, some still whizzling around. So... I don't see really any orderly pattern here with landings. 30 seconds so I would be on my final now most of them are Okay, one more flight and it's done. Two minutes to start. West, direction to start west and landing on the east points. Direction to start west and landing on the east points. So, start wider from the south part of the umbrellas to be in the same distance between the riders. Fourth and hopefully last flight for junior fly-offs. Only last number six can throw the airplane from the north. Starting direction west. So just for the fun of it, Soter, the contest director, decided to change the start direction. One minute to start. Uh, it doesn't really matter in this low wind, but it's going to be interesting for the sake of variety. So we'll now have... start towards the camp and based on what the flags are doing I'm expecting pilots to start exploring the area over the runway. 20 seconds to start. And then I'll probably have to move a bit for the landings, we'll see. 10 seconds, 9. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. So, now again, low and slow, of course. So, 
so two are going now here over me and let's pick the lowest one over there a bit more power in the last few seconds There's one behind me, really low. And the fan can't really take a picture of him, but let's stick with this guy. Who also looks like he's coming here, but too far out, I think. So there's definitely something happening behind me that was the cause of the, that slight breeze that convinced Sotir to change the start direction. So now the question is, will they be able to find the start of that thermal? Okay, so one more is over the field where I would like to be. Where are the others? Oh, four are behind me, yeah, definitely. And this guy is now trying to join them. And now it's wind, I feel wind from my left. That's probably a good sign for him. The trains are pretty loud here. So the one railway crossing here just only has the lights, so you have to check yourself whether it's safe to cross the railway. Okay, he's again almost above my head, which makes it difficult to film. Let's try a different angle towards that guy there. See if I can find him, yes. He's also moving over the camp. So looks like the field is not yet warm enough. But the guy overhead has some issues. I mean, he didn't gain much recently. But he's still sticking here in this area. Although it's not really gaining, going up, but it's not going down either, so... I guess that's okay. As long as he doesn't make any mistake, it should be okay. But I would move. So the guy with the green tail is now here. Went over the whole camp and now over this patch of old trees, fruit trees, I think. Not maintained in some time. Uh, he's now here and started the circle. So all the rest of the flock remaining. is just overhead and in the sun, of course.
and that's plenty good for the remaining 10 minutes. Oh, what's he doing now? He has a bird circling with him, that's always fun. Let me see if I can get that closer. Just a crow, I think. Not that interested in the plane itself. But if it would be some raptor bird and maybe springtime, that would be different. Because they get super territorial. Oh no, I'm almost falling on my back. Couldn't do it really. Yeah, two, four, five guys here, all nice and high and safe. Don't know why he doesn't want to just move over a few more meters to the south. It's directly overhead me. Okay, now he's in the sun, here. So even the wind is now in my back, which means good news for these guys. So he should just extend the circle down south a bit, maybe 20-30 meters. That's all he needs. Why is he sticking here? That's giving him time, that's good enough, I guess. And there is a A380, I think, up there. So since the airspace to the north is closed, all the Asia-bound flights are now crossing over here. Uh, we've seen plenty of interesting traffic. No, he lost a bit. Pity. Looks like he's giving up. Sure, why? So get the horizon in for perspective. He's still continuing to fight, but doesn't have much more room to maneuver. Five minutes remaining. Not sure if that would be enough. 
definitely no room for error. Well, he gained something, okay, okay. <laughs> okay, still gaining. And that looks like a nervous flight. You have to work constantly for the 15 minutes just to stay in the air. But on the other side, I must say, he's flying very steadily. I don't see any nervousness or something or anything like that. He's just patiently working what he has. Maybe not willing to explore much further, although there were good signs. But now he moved over this patch of trees and he's gaining. He should have done this 10 minutes ago. All five planes are still here in the same spot. And we are now just waiting for what two minute forty seconds till landing. And we have one more train passing by. Okay, now the flock dispersed a bit, they're getting ready for landing. And we'll see some landings close by here. Two minutes remaining. Okay, I'm closer to the Dixie here than to the landing point, so I guess I'll just stand here I'm far enough to not disturb them on landing and since there's barely any wind One minute remaining. Tight circling is the one sure way to lose height quickly. seconds remaining 20 seconds remaining 10 seconds 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 Nice, nice, okay, 
Congratulations. Now, let's wait for the results.